Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the big JBP, the Joe Budden podcast and network and everything going on with that. If you are unfamiliar with who Joe Budden is, he's a 90s rapper, 2000s, early 2000s, I should say, that had the song Pump, Pump, Pump It Up. He's also known for other things as being like a host on the complex show Everyday Struggle or a former host. And now he has his own podcast. And there's a falling out that's been occurring in the podcast with his two co-hosts, Rory and Maul. Uh, him and Rory have been having a back and forth and it's gone as far as Rory saying on several episodes hey man well we gotta fight and who says we're friends and just looking very very frustrated and irritated like he doesn't want to be there that led to Joe telling him hey why don't you take some time off take a break uh the energy and the vibe just feels a little different which at that point Maul had a conversation with Joe behind the scenes which I guess some heated words were exchanged and Maul ended up taking a break from the podcast himself so as you can imagine how this goes, when the audience gets used to having a certain style of content and that style changes or people that you're used to seeing on something goes away and they're not there anymore, it can sometimes help or hurt the podcast a lot. So prime example of this is like, I'm a huge fan of the Brilliance Idiots podcast. Back in the day, if Charlemagne wasn't on the episode, I could not watch it at all. Now, I ain't even gonna lie, I'd love Flagrant 2 a little more and I gotta have Andrew Schultz on there in some capacity. If Schultz isn't there, depending on who the co-host is, I watch it with Akash and uh, Mark and Alex Media. But anyways, let's go back to Joe. So after they left, the audience was highly upset. You can go look in the comments. Yo, they was, where's Maul, where's Rory? People are saying certain little things on social media. It was looking pretty bad for Joe. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh man. I put my stock, I said, if this goes on for more than five episodes, we might have to worry. I think the channel is still in a downwards trend because like, yo, we're not trying to check out these other podcasts. See the thing is with Mandy B's whore ass. I'm sorry, like I don't want to see that. Keep her ass on the Horrible Decisions podcast. We got the female Joe Button up there acting like anybody cares about her opinion. I'm sorry, nobody's trying to see that. Like if you want to separate the channels and put all of that nonsense on another channel and just have the main channel be JBP, I think that will work out a lot better. I think the growth will return to the channel and I think some people wouldn't feel like they're getting bombarded with content that he didn't subscribe for. So, whoa, 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 before we continue, I noticed that 51.5% of you guys have been watching the videos but you aren't sub. Go ahead and tap in with your boy by hitting the subscribe button and while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and hit the like as it helps out the channel. We're all about growth here. I try to be as entertaining as possible in these videos. So yeah, any support is much appreciated and with that being said, let's go ahead and jump back into the video. So back to what I was saying, truthfully, if the dislikes went on for more than five episodes, I would say Joe may has to worry. He may need to knock up things and get things back in good order with Rory and Maul, but he had one good episode with the two new co-hosts and that buck was officially broken. People in the comment section like, hey man, you know, the energy back to how we used to. Like, as long as you make a good piece of content, people will come up with any excuse they can in their head to consume that set content and it's actually really funny to see it play out in this way because a couple episodes ago you would think people was going to stop watching the podcast no Rory no Maul we're not showing up we're rioting even going as far as there was a female co-host from see the thing is it was kind of rallying support because she wasn't even on the channel for more than 25 episodes on her podcast named Olivia Dope uh and yeah, the entire thing really wasn't looking like it's painting out in Joe's favor, but these last two episodes have broken the buck. There's people even memeing it, and I feel like when you start having those people that meme the situation, that's when you officially need to worry. So I, I truthfully believe it went from like, Aurorian Mall was having all the support. People were like, yo, we wanna see them come back. We rocking with them. Now to, since the last couple of episodes have been great, according to the audience, then it turns into like, eh, and we're not gonna say fuck Rory and Maul, but the energy is like, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I gotta, I gotta watch this. I, you, y'all expect me not to watch this? I've been watching this for how many years? Y'all expect me to just stop watching it now? And I think you get people into behaving in that manner by getting them into a routine. Prime example, if there's something that you like to do in your personal life, let's say you do it every Thursday at 10 p.m. And let's say you've been doing that for maybe three years, because if we're keeping it a bean, the Joe Budden podcast has been going since 2015, <laughs> okay? So when you get people into a certain 
schedule and they're there based off of you and everybody else is kind of like you know they're just the co-host i saw a comment that made me laugh that said i sub for jbp not jbrmp which is joe budden rory mall podcast i just sub for the joe budden podcast when you get them to mess with you on that level a fiend is always going to be a fiend at the end of the day if we being honest so when you look at the title and you see that it says the end of the joe budden podcast while i think it's taking a hit i would argue you currently from my pov i think just having so much content be on the main channel with like the see the thing is podcast girl i guess and having all those clips on one channel does more damage to that channel than rory and maul leaving the jb podcast I don't know why I said JB podcast, the Joe Budden podcast. I would argue that the first one did more damage to the channel than than them leaving. Yeah, he's gonna get dislikes, but we're not talking about like low cow type of community where they're gonna consistently dislike. We're talking people that are currently upset in the moment. As long as the episode of the thing that they're gonna watch regardless is up to par, if we keep it in the bean, they gonna say fuck Rory and all. <laughs> I mean, that's just the reality of it. So that's my opinion on the entire thing. I know one of you guys asked me about this down in the comment section below, and I had to show up and get my thoughts. So with that being said, if you're new to the channel, please give this video a like and sub. Also, check me out on twitter.com forward slash RMP Kampachi, and check out that Patreon with over 110 hours of additional content that you can get in for as low as $5. That's a steal, baby. 110 hours of additional content for five? That's a steal. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Everybody have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon.